How do we calculate the molar mass of something? That depends on whether we want to calculate it for an element or a molecule. For our convenience, I've copied down some of the elements from the periodic table onto this sheet so that we can see what some of the numbers are. You'll notice on each square of this periodic table, there's a the element symbol, the atomic number, and then there's another number, numbers that increase across the whole way. H, hydrogen, has 1.008, O is 16. These are called the atomic masses of each of the elements, and they will be what we are using to calculate the molar mass of things. For elements, it's really, really, really easy to calculate the molar mass. You just check the periodic table. For example, the molar mass of sodium, just look on the periodic table and you'll see the atomic mass is 22.99. This means that the molar mass of sodium is 22.99 grams per mole. This unit of measure means that one mole of sodium atoms weighs 22.99 grams. If we want to calculate the molar mass of a molecule, things get a little more complicated. We have to add up the masses of each of the atoms. For example, H2SO4 has two hydrogen atoms, one sulfur atom, and four oxygen atoms. What we do to calculate the molar mass is take two times the molar mass of hydrogen plus one molar mass of sulfur plus four times the molar mass of oxygen because we have two hydrogen atoms, one sulfur atom, and four oxygen atoms. When you do this math, you get 98.09 and the mass the molar mass is always measured in grams per mole. The molar mass of H2SO4, 98.09 grams per mole. For every one mole of H2SO4 that we have, it weighs 98.09 grams. If we were wanted to calculate the molar mass of something like O2, we do the exact same thing. Two times the molar mass of oxygen and that's all there is to this molecule. We get 32 grams per mole.